Good morning friends, well back down here at Moorabbin Airport. Got something a little bit different on the channel today. Now this one, I'll be honest, is a bit more for you pilots out there. There's gonna be a bit more technical information in this one because I think it's about time, I think it's time, I don't know. I think it's time one of us got a nose job, right? No, not me, not me. this morning as well um, I'm actually going to get involved with some of this too but of course with a job like this you don't want to get your clothes dirty right so and you've got to look the part <laughs> I expect to be paid for this you know eight bucks an hour well that's eight bucks more than I was expecting is it bad that I was just saying lefty loosey righty tighty in my head just uh, to remember. Yeah. It's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> Spinner off, what's next? Same type cow off, two front screws. The same as the normal screws we just pulled off then. Then all the fasteners around the back of the cow on the top are all quarter turn and it will release and pop out. Engine. Your main points here, large alternator up the front. This is a 100 amp alternator to power the air conditioning, which is now not the back of the engine I'll show you in a sec. Your three cylinders on this side, three on the other side, all air-cooled engine. Um, it's all contained within these baffles, so direct airflow down and through the cylinders. Your lifeline, two magnetos up the back to give you a spark, completely self-powered, irrelevant to the battery system of the aeroplane. So if you lose all the electronics, the engine will still run. And like that, it's all happy. On the other side of the engine, it's a bit your favourite bit. My favourite bit. Favourite bit. Air conditioning compressor. Hey, keeps me cool. Keeps it cool. And what's next? Bottom cows. Bottom cows. Let's get them off. That's why I've got the overalls on, right? <laughs> so we start calling on the ground. Yes. Call us a muffler, it's not really a muffler. It's more of this shroud reference outside of it is your cabin heat. Fresh air comes in this duct from the scoop on the side of the cow. Yep. Um, mixes in this box, and if you control this knob with the heaters control inside, it mixes it with the hot air from around the exhaust, and that's the simple heater from inside the cabin. So now the cowlings are off top and bottom. It's really all that's left is to actually take the prop off. So how many bolts hold it on? Six bolts on the back of the hub. Back to the actual hub of the prop. And will it in. will it hold itself on when all the bolts are off, or do we need to hold it? Nah, it will sit there. It will sit there. Oh, I suppose I should actually mention why we're doing this. Um, it's not just cosmetics. Um, we're changing the four-blade prop that you've come to know on Kilo Juliet November to this one down here, which is a new three-blade prop. Now, Stephen, why why are we changing it then? Um, there's, there's really only one main reason as to why we're changing it, and it's more durability-wise for gives you more options to go into rougher strips when you go out bush. Being a composite prop, it doesn't deal super well with gravel and stone chips. It tends to ding and bend really, really easy. Yeah. So if you go something like to back to the three blade prop, it's a lot tougher prop and it can deal with stuff with uh, stone chips and rougher strips a lot nicer. So with the um, with the Outback trip that's coming up in a couple of weeks time, which if you haven't seen the video for that one, I'll put a link to it up here, which just announces the route that I'm doing across Australia out to WA, uh, then up north and coming back through the desert, uh, visiting Uluru, etc. So there's quite a big likelihood that there are going to be some dirt strips that will take Kilo Juliet November on. And yeah, it just gives me a few more options changing the prop here. Four blader prop has about an inch, inch and a half better prop clearance. Okay. Um, so the three blader is going to be closer to the ground. But we have found the four blader, you have to taxi around it at a higher RPM to get it to taxi. Yeah. You're at about 13, 1400 RPM to taxi to decent speed. So it tends to vacuum up your smaller stones a lot better. Yeah. Whereas the three blader, when we go back to that, you're taxiing about a thousand RPM, so it won't pick up stone chips. It's 
off. And that's why you had the bucket down there to start yeah. with. So of course with the Cirrus aircraft they're a constant speed unit but there's no separate uh, pitch lever like you sometimes get in other CSU aircraft. The oil coming out of here is the same engine oil that's in the engine, all control the same. But what it's controlled by is this governor sitting down underneath, which is the same as what's in any constant speed aeroplane. All this is doing is sensing the speed of the engine and then increasing the oil pressure, pumping the oil pressure back up through the crankshaft to the prop. And what the oil is doing is then the oil is then pushing on the spring inside the prop to control the blade angle depending on what speed you're wanting it to do. In the Sirius aircraft, the pitch linkage or the CSU linkage is still there and works the same as any other airplane, it's just controlled by one lever. And so there's KJN's four blade prop now, just draining whatever oil's just remaining inside the propeller unit itself, just into that bucket, but that's it, off on the ground. Will be used again though, so this is gonna go back onto this aircraft after my Outback trip in Australia. But for now, it's off with the four, and on with the three. I think rather sensibly they're not letting me do this bit. So Paul's helping us out here as well, just as they're putting the um, three blade prop on there. You're not sure if it looks good or not? I like it, I think it's good. Black and white, it's pretty slick. It's got the stripes on the side. Is that gonna make a nice disc pattern? Is it spinning around? So we're tightening up the bolts now on the new prop. Uh, question though, how do you know how do you know how tight to do them up? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this torque wrench here. That's in accordance with the SR22 maintenance manual. Um, everything we do is back to the maintenance manual of the aeroplane. So as long as we do what they tell us to do, it's the right torque. You know, it's right. So now the new prop's on. All the bolts are tightened up. What we're going to do is put the cowlings back on again and then take it outside and do a quick engine run up just a bit of a test to make sure everything's from the outset looking okay. Not putting the spinner on just yet though, that goes on afterwards just in case any tweaks need to be made. But yeah, cowlings back on and then let's give this new thing a test. Right, let's go test that prop. Well that seemed to go really well actually, all the um, tests that Stephen was doing there on the prop, getting up to full power, taking it down to idle, cycling it through the throttle, just making sure everything's running okay. Looking for things like if there's any oil coming out the bottom or anything, so Stephen's going to take the cowlings off again and just check and see if there's any, you know, oil in places where it shouldn't be, but otherwise, to be honest, all those run-up checks and everything went really well. So there's a bit of a conflict here. We're not sure whether we like the new three versus the four, four blade prop. You're shaking your head. I think it's growing on me a lot. I think the stripes help. It helps, it's got black and white stripes. Well, you don't like it? Nah. <laughs> or the four blade back. You want the four blade, but the four blade is coming back. But that's pretty much all that needs to be done now. So just detaching the spinner, then that's it. Otherwise, give us a like if you enjoyed that video. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, do click that subscribe button. Thanks, Stephen. Thank you. Thanks to Stephen for his assistance today. I'll catch you again soon. Thanks for watching.